rip at your dick to work for. No, I'm really not. There are expectations on every job that you have, whether it's out here working with Ray, or if it's in the factory, or it's, you know, a corporate. There's expectations on every job, and you gotta learn the job. And you don't want, and what you don't wanna do, if you're me, you don't wanna teach them wrong. All right, so I'll get, I'll try to get a little footage, but I'm not gonna get a lot of footage over here. I just don't feel like it, man. I got too many, too much, too much going on, man. I gotta make my money, man. So I'm gonna put you on time lapse. I'm gonna put y'all right here, and y'all get what y'all get, man. All right, y'all. So y'all know I bought that video the other day, and they put this uh, auto. This is this is Steel's version of what the speed with the speed, speed feed. feed. Mm -hmm. So it looks like it does the same thing. We'll, we'll see. Yeah. yeah. First time doing steel. It looks like it's bigger round. Mm -hmm. And that'll make a big difference on how much the string it'll hold. Yeah. See, look. You press that in. Now, if you, if you got dog doo-doo on the bottom of the thing, y'all might not want to do that. Yeah, wipe it on Ray. Mm -hmm. I'll be the I'll be the doo-doo getter. <laughs> yeah, man. I like that, man. Have we did it strong enough? Oh, yeah. All right. So, we're over here, y'all. Y'all know that we're over here, and we're just, we're, we're kind of all over the place because, uh, well, it's Toby's first time. We got to do the bushes. And Jared's, uh, this is Jared's second time over here. So there's a lot of things to get everything in order. And good thing we're not in the heat of the season yet. So, uh, but we cut the, uh, he cut the pompous grass down. And there's a lot of debris, but y'all watch how this, how, how these X mark mower mulches that up and bags it. We're gonna wait to get all done over there. And then I'm gonna run the, uh, I'm gonna run the mower over there and mulch it up. And then I'm gonna come back with the bagger. But they are cut kind of low. Uh, and I don't know. That, that, that those, that these owners over here, they're, they're a little bit funny. Well, they don't know what they don't know. Uh, and, he, and then he wanted to be here when I did the bushes, but he just couldn't be. So, yeah, he probably would have, you know, probably what he wanted to tell me. But, you know, it is what it is, man. We're going to, we got the, uh, we got to keep rolling, man. So, But everybody's doing good. Uh, but it ain't got hot yet. One thing about having uh, new young guys out here is they got more energy than sense. Well, no, it ain't that they're dumb or nothing. They just don't have a lot of experience. And so you find that they find themselves doing a lot, a lot I said a lot more work because they're walking, steady walking all the time and everything. So, uh, yeah, but uh, I'm, I'm gonna grab the bagger out of that truck and uh take it over there mulch all that stuff up uh but see i got to keep the young man going too he's got to kind of know what to do over here and i'm all over the place because we're, we're, we're all discombobulated man so uh there's not a whole lot more that we can do with these bushes but we got there's weeds everywhere man you know i i, I was trying to 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 to, to be their their weed guy you know i ain't talking about for the grass i'm talking about for the beds and uh i don't know that i'm gonna be able to do it man because uh well they need the companies around here i don't know what their philosophy is but they don't normally spray or do anything in the beds uh so yeah but i need to get on the mower, y'all and cut this right here get this done so we can be done with this property uh Tell you what though, uh, Toby's worth his weight in gold because he he done cut all them bushes over there, uh, and he did most of the bushes here. I did this, Jerry did that, and Toby did those, and yeah, so uh, he's worthy of of buying a whole new set of head trimmers just for him, and I'll do that. You know, I'm not scared to spend no money. Uh, over the years, if I made money with all these J's I've had out here, y'all know I make money with somebody's got some sins. So, you know, but the young man missed a bunch of stuff in the back on the weed eating. And after he had done blowed it all off and everything. So now he's got to take the weed eater back there, weed eat that. And he's got to take the blower back there again and blow it. And see, oh, that's double work. And that's where you got to learn, right? And we don't, we want to learn that now when it's 55 degrees and a nice breeze, beautiful day. 
see he's going to start blowing he needs to blow the pool area and then i need to cut though y'all y'all we're done two o'clock uh we got done about 30 minutes ago uh but yeah we are uh we're, we're, we're overachieving every day uh well we're not i don't want to say overachieving we're really not we're not doing the whole was everybody's not signed back up yet they are gonna sign up but their yards don't need it they're the real simple ones where it's just mowing and weed eating and they got bermuda grass but we're doing all the little things like bushes and monkey grass removal and you know uh, that kind of thing we're not doing uh we're not doing all the lawns yet uh, but uh we're you know we're getting everybody ready getting everybody on the right page uh and all that i thought that we'd be working a little bit later today so i miscalculated again and that's because like i said i don't know if i've even posted a video like i said the other day uh well, we're working. We're working as smart as we can, um, and we're uh, getting a lot done. And my timing is off a little bit, uh, so that's on me. My job is to make sure I put the business in the best position to win. And we're winning, but we could be winning better. We're winning by three when we could be winning by ten. So that's my goal. Uh, because the pay that I'm putting paying out uh, is uh, well it's good pay and everybody deserves what I'm paying them I'm not saying that I'm not saying that they ain't you know that they don't uh, Toby's worth worth uh, every every bit of what I'm giving him so but he does bring a lot to the table and, and, and he knows a lot and I can leave things with him to finish up or whatever. Like today, I needed to leave that job, uh, the last one, you know, uh, before we got done. And he said, man, you're going to go, man, ain't a big deal. I, I, I'll wrap this one up. So, and he does good, man. But uh, yeah, I got my sandwich, y'all. So just a little chit chat on the way home. I didn't get a lot of footage, man. But, uh, you, know, you know, having the young man out here is uh well it's 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 a double-edged sword you know uh it's it's well it, it's a little stressful number one uh because well having anybody new out here is stressful right it, i mean it doesn't matter uh so that's one thing and you know once he gets his rise situation straightened out and i don't know how that's going to happen um once all that gets straightened out then uh well i'll feel a lot better but i don't know that it can be straightened out you know and if that's the case then uh they're probably not going to make it out here this summer uh, and i think he i think he wants to be out here but of course i would too if he, if i if i was making the money that he's making knowing what he knows and, he's, and I'm telling y'all that he's he has great effort. I mean, he's not, you know, uh, laying down. He, I mean, he's he, he, his effort is great, but you know, effort can only take you so far if you don't know anything. Now it's just about time and 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 learning each phase as you you know you want to learn the proper way to edge. 
you want to learn the proper way to weed eat. Uh, not, and I'm not talking about just running the equipment. That's the easy part, you know. Running the equipment's easy. It's knowing what to do with the equipment, right? Anybody can get on a skid steer and do whatever they want, you know, and, 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 but can you make money with it, you know? Do you know what to do with it? Anybody can crank up a weed eater and walk with it, but do you know how to walk with it where you ain't got to walk in the same spot four or five times? Do you know how to walk with it where you don't miss something so you don't have to go back? You know, in the same way with uh, with edging. Uh, new guys that come out here, I don't let them uh, edge with a weed eater. Sorry. I'm, you know, now I can do it. Toby can do it. And, you know, the young man will be able to do it at some point, but not not, not, not right now. Uh, you got you to gotta be a, a weed eater specialist to be able to do that and, and it not just, you know, where it look good, not slinging crap everywhere and not running the string, you know, out after, you know, five feet. So there is a, you know, there, there's a method to all of it, man. But the biggest thing I see with the young man out here is he just has to slow down and listen to what we're telling him and just do the job you know and uh, not really super concerned about real fast that's not my my goal that's not my thing uh, I don't I don't want to him to do it fast because every time he comes to me talking about he's done weed eating or whatever then I know because I've got a lot of time out here, I know that he ain't got everywhere. There's no way it'd be impossible. And so then I have to go back, and he does too. And nine times out of ten, he doesn't put the weed ear up. And see, these are the things that uh, will frustrate a young man and frustrate me too, especially in the heat. We need to get through all this little stuff like this before it gets hot. So I don't really have to have a hardcore conversation with him on every job that we do where when he gets done weed eating, he's not coming to me and asking me what, what I do next. Because see, I don't like that because I'll look up and he don't walk the country mile to get to wherever I'm at, right? And all that was just, and, and my thinking, all that is just a waste of freaking energy. And I'm thinking, man, we need to harness that energy and do better things with that energy than walking, you know, 300 yards from where I'm at. And then having to walk 300 yards back or whatever. 10 feet, 30 feet, I don't want to, and then, I, then I'm having to stop and explain to him everything that, that you know, that he needs to do next. And he has gotten a lot better at, when I tell him, do this, when you get done with that, do this, when you get done with that, do this. See, that's something I couldn't do with Bo, you know, uh, and uh, Zach had been out here so long that he should have known how to do this, he could have done this in his sleep, you know. I didn't like Zach uh, using a weed eater sideways because Zach, uh, well, he was sling shit everywhere. And I'm trying to train Jared the way, and I'm not taking no slack. I'm not taking, I'm not, you know, you know, used to. I have a guy out here, and I say, oh, that's good enough. No, no, I ain't doing that this time. We're going, no, we need to fix that. We can't leave it like that. I need the young man to learn uh, better judgment on what we're doing. I ain't talking about judgment in life, I'm talking about judgment on the jobs. When he gets done doing a piece or whatever he's doing, that his judgment is is uh, good enough to, to, for me to believe, okay, uh, that's, that, that's good done enough. And see, Toby already has that. I don't have to, well, I don't have to worry about that. And see, that's why he makes more money. That, and well, he's, he makes more money because he knows what he's doing. And I don't have to go behind him or right? he doesn't Toby doesn't come to me and say what's next no he goes on because I, I, I he knows what he's doing so when we pull it to a job I say okay man you go and knock that one out uh, I, I'll have Jared over here and I'll have the young man over here and I can help him knock this one out and uh, we'll just see where, where, we, where, where we fall a lot of times he can do them faster because he, he's flowing he doesn't know he, I mean he doesn't have to worry about anything and I like that, you know, and that's worth dollars to, to me, to any company, really. It doesn't matter what occupation you're in. 
if you if, if you know uh, you got to stop and ask ask the owner every you know after every phase then then uh, and I'm not saying that that's a bad thing but it is after you get, get experience and everything and once my guy gets it gets it gets experience and we're trying to and this is a concerted you know joint effort you know all three of us are trying to teach him you know me Toby and him he got to do his part too and you know but until he gets up to speed uh, he's going to be doing more of the menial labor stuff not because he's better at it or don't know how to do anything else but because that's the best way to spend his time on most jobs where we're doing menial labor stuff at right now today and then if he get, once we get done with the menial labor stuff but me and Toby are doing the menial labor too we trim bushes today too you know but there's a there's a you know a certain part of me that likes having him out here the part of me that don't like having him out here is the part that well you know uh i don't mind you know teaching people as long as they're you know teachable but one thing that i'm not going to be able to deal with is uh you know holding up holding up the team you know holding up the business by not being on time and stuff like that you know everything else you know everything else that he does out here on on the jobs it's manageable we can you know i can teach him and i'm patient and, and all that and, and you know and i'm trying to explain to him the why and you know uh, but i can't teach somebody to be to work on time i can't take on that uh, i can't take on you know good character you know I'm, i can't you know but uh he's had to go back on just about just about every job and, and 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 redo things and though that takes more time and i used to just overcome that by okay i'll do it no worries but i'm not doing that this time i need a guy i need the young man to learn exactly how we do things so uh you know and having toby out here somebody knows what they're doing that gives me a little bit of a, a free time to be able to really stay on the young man to make sure he's on task well but you're a dick to work for no i'm really not there are expectations on every job that you have whether it's out here working with ray or if it's in the factory or it's you know corporate there's expectations on every job and you've got to learn the job and you don't want and what you don't want to do if you're me you don't want to teach them wrong you don't want to teach them uh, you know, uh, she's, uh, and that's one of the reasons. One of one of the things that was a problem with Zach. Zach got taught wrong on some stuff, and you know because I didn't have time to be, you know, to, you know. But I got time now, and I'm a lot. I'm a lot older, and I'm a lot more experienced. And and if I if I wasn't, uh, if I wasn't taking the time to have him go back and do this, 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 or that, or whatever it is, and, it, and, and he and, and showing him actually stopping everything that I'm doing on the job and walking to wherever he's working at or where he's fixing to be working at and telling him, you need to go back and do all this again, man. You need to do it. You missed all over there. See that? And he's like, yeah, I see it now. And then you need to see that. You see that over there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Damn. I don't know. Why didn't I get that? I'm like, that's exactly what I'm saying. And, and if I got a guy like that that can take the constructive criticism without getting angry then well he's gonna be better off he'll, well he'll be out here if he gets angry about it then he won't be out here you know uh and i'm very tolerable contrary to what the youtube videos might show you guys i'm very tolerable uh of of things that people don't know now where it's intolerable is you know being at work on time that's a big one for me you know a big one and uh now you get out here you show that you can get to work on time and you show that you that, that you are picking up and learning and you show all these things then i might i might lighten up a little bit but i got to know your heart's in it before i do that you know i got to know that you are uh that that that, that you know if i put screws to you you can handle it 
because that's what's going to happen. You're going to get the screws put to you just like I do and just like everybody else does in, in life. Well, life is not pretty and life is not hunky-dory like the Spencers and, and some of the other lawn care channels make it look. It ain't all happy all the time. You know, it's, you know, it is what it is, but in order, in order for the guys to make money for working for me, they're going to have to do things a certain way. And if they can't, then we'll move on to somebody that can, you know, but if I got a guy, some of you guys have said in the comments, if I got a guy that has great effort and can take the critiquing and can take the constructive criticism without getting angry, then that's a, that's, that's a plus, you know, but being, being, you know, coming to work late, not being in control of your, of your ride situation, you need to handle all that before you come out here and work for a guy like me. You need to be ready to come to work, you know, and there are a lot of other little things that I go through with every single guy that comes out here, you know, you, you don't have glasses, you, uh, you know, I'm seeing weed eating without glasses, I don't like that. Don't you bring your glasses, but you see Toby. I don't. He's got his own glasses. I ain't got a, you know. And he has them with him every day. You don't leave them at home because we're. It's a job. We're coming to a job. It's like, you know, going to a welding job and not take bringing your welder. You know, you need gloves, and I, I keep gloves, and you need uh, glasses. And I got glasses, but um, what ends up happening is. Uh, the guys come out here, they'll get out there and they'll start weeding, and then they realize they ain't got no glasses, and then they got to walk a country mile back to the truck, and then they dig into the truck looking for glasses. You know? I, I mean, you know, I deal with that every, you know, y'all, you guys know, every day. I said every day. Every year, it's the same thing. And there is a lot of deja vu moments when I have, when the, when the young man is doing things, but the being late thing, that ain't gonna cut it. And I know that's putting pressure on his peoples to get him, you know, uh, to work. But he's gonna have to figure that out because I'm not gonna uh, continue to run the business like I have been running the business the last five or six years. Ever since I got to the point of where, you know, it's mandatory I have guys out here. I have, I've had Zach out here and I've had a couple of other guys out here, but uh, I'm not, I'm not going to continue to, to, to do that. And, and that's, that's the definition of insanity. I'm not going to continue doing that same thing. So uh, we're going to train different. The expectations are going to be higher. And if they can't get through that, then they won't be out here. As long, I'll say that, kind of cocky right then, didn't I? Sound, sounded pretty cocky, didn't it? As long as I got Toby out here with me. Now, if I didn't have him out here with me, then I would have to go through a lot more stuff. You know, but I got Toby out here, and he's committed for the summer, and uh, and then some. So, uh, you know, Toby's gonna make good money out here. Uh, he, he is the guy that I've been looking for. Now, would he make more money if he was ventured off on his own? Probably so. But, you know, there's a lot of headache in, in, in that. So. But the expectations uh, for the young man is not going to change. We're, we're not moving the goalpost or nothing. It's going to be damn near set in stone. And he's going to have to learn what the expectation is on each individual property. And though he's getting better and better, he's got a lot to learn. And I do too. You know, I got a lot to learn about, you know, uh, well, a lot of things. But the bare, the basics and, you know, uh, on how to do the properties and make them uh, nice where people are willing to pay for it. Well, I, I know how to do that. I've been doing it a long time. And if, and if the young man had been out here five years, he'd probably, he'd probably know a whole lot too. Because if he wasn't catching on after that much time, he wouldn't be out here. Zach was great out here. I, I, I didn't mind having Zach out here. But Zach had so many off-the-field issues that, it, it, and, and it always ended up and you know coming back, and, and it ended up affects me.
But now that I got Toby out here, me and Toby can go through guys like underwear. If that if that's if that's what you know needs to happen. So both of us, we both like the young man, and and we both you know are thinking to ourselves, well you know what, if he can learn, I'm I'm good with it, you know, because I make I make Toby a part of the decision too. If the young man came out here and disrespected Toby, then he wouldn't be out here. If Toby didn't want him out here for whatever reason, we, I, would, I would have to go on my guy's word and, and we'd have to get rid of him. But that ain't what, you know, Toby's like me. He's like, man, the dude's willing to work. He, he, you know, he, he's willing to do the grunt work and, you know, and he's just got a lot to learn. So it's a concerted effort between me and Toby. And, you know, of course, the young man's got to do his part too. And that's where we're at. You damn right, I'm gonna be frustrated when a guy comes in late. Uh, it, I, it, that that that'll probably never change. You know. But once I see that 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 your heart's in it, and it's in it to win it, and you've learned enough after one season, you know, I might start lightening up on some of that stuff because I can give you more responsibility. Right now, I can't. I can't give the young man a bunch of responsibility out here because he doesn't know enough yet. Just like I didn't when I started. And just like Toby didn't when he started. Just like you didn't when you started. The only difference is, when I started, I had to pay for everything if I messed it up. And I, and I had to pay for everything if the young man messes up. And we're not going to let him mess up. Or if he does, it's going to be minimal stuff. So... You know, my job um, now is to get, and, and Toby's job, is to get this new guy trained to where we can stick and move. And though we're doing good, right, we're not sucking high and tit in any way. But that's because of me and Toby and uh, my approach to everything, right? And Toby's approach. And even the young man's approach. He's learning what we're doing he worked for a local company uh but they have so many guys in the truck that man you really you know you really ain't if you ain't the lead guy you really ain't gonna learn a lot because they have such high turnover that you know guy work two weeks quit just like you know i don't want a lot of turnover I, and that's what that's been my thing that's held me back somewhat you know i didn't want to uh have to replace zach but I have, you know, I'm, I'm getting older too. And I'm learning what, what to look for in guys that, that come out here and work. I am. And I don't, and, I, and I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not too good to do the do grunt work. And I think Toby was, I think Toby was kind of surprised at that. I, I, I like being out here, uh, you know. Uh, I don't know if it's a, a control thing, but see, I don't have to. I don't have to have a control battle with Toby, but he knows what, exactly what to do, and that relieves my heart. I can't tell y'all, man. After y'all seen all the guys I've had out here, uh, y'all well, I ain't seen them all, but y'all seen plenty of knucklehead that I've had out here, and to where I'm just stressed about everything all the time and it's just not I, I, I don't want to continue to do that and uh, I've been you know in all the years that I've been doing this I've been been wanting a guy like Toby I never was quite ready to pay what I needed to pay to get somebody like him and I never really had the infrastructure to you know for for uh, a guy like that where I had plenty of equipment I got you know uh, a decent truck uh, you know so now uh, in order for us to, to make more money we need to be able to do more work and I need to be able to trust that the guys around me got the business best interest at heart and I may go, you know, I'm not worried about Toby. I, I, I think Toby's good. You know, of course, you know, anything can happen, but I, I think Toby's good. 
I think he's the kind of guy that 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 has some loyalty, and uh, and it ain't about just money. We know everybody's got to make money, but um, he he sees what I'm doing, and he sees how I'm trying to do things, and he's like embraced it, and he's like, man, I can come over here and I can work just a few hours over here, and I can make blah blah blah, you know, and. Until we get to where I can figure out the timing of how long it takes him to do something, and we get a young man to where he can uh, do more than what he's doing now, then the young man can jump from truck to truck. But me and Toby have got to be doing things pretty much the same way. And Toby's a lot like me in a lot of ways. He might have the young man with him on this particular job, but he'll jump off the he'll hop on the mower, jump off the mower with a weed eater, and he can weed eat it. But, Quick, uh, uh, you know, be halfway done weed eating before the young man can get the weed eater started. It happens. But again, uh, not coming to work, uh, being late to work, uh, bad attitude, and all that. We're not doing none of that. Now, I haven't had any problems with with the young man and his eagerness to learn. I just think he needs to slow down. And listen when we're telling him stuff instead of coming to the conclusion. I used to do the same thing. Uh, uh, when 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 my boss or whoever was, and I, sometimes I still find myself doing it. Uh, but when my boss would would be explaining to me, you know, why we're doing this or or uh, or what to do, that I would come to the conclusion that this is what he's going to say and I would blurt it out before he had a chance to get there and you know why that is because I wasn't listening to him I thought that I knew and what I need the young man to do is just to slow down comprehend what I'm telling him and don't say anything you know I mean you know just don't say nothing say okay I see I see that you know Instead of while I'm talking, he wants to start talking, not talking back or nothing like that. It's all a, a, a cordial thing. It's not like, but he starts uh, speaking on where he thinks I might be going with that. And sometimes he's right, sometimes he's wrong. But I need him just to kind of slow down and just listen and learn how to learn and learn how to comprehend what I'm telling him. Uh, and not get mad. He's got that part down. He's got the not. Uh, he he doesn't get his butt hurt real easy. I like that. I don't like him. I don't want no snowflake out here that's gonna start crying when I get on to him, because I'm gonna get on to these young men that don't know how to do anything, or don't know enough to where I can you know uh, feel comfortable with them out here. Uh, but being late and a no show, that kind of thing. That, that 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 that's gonna that that, that that's gonna make uh, me me resent it. Even though I might put up with it for a minute, it won't be for long. Not in the situation that I'm in with Toby. So me and Toby can do all these properties by ourselves, probably, because we can do a lot of work. Yeah, in in, in two separate trucks. Is that there ain't a property I got that I can't do by myself, and there ain't a property I got that I have not done by myself, and I make good time on every property I do. Because I know what the hell I'm doing. And I know how to, and I know the expectations of every single customer. And that's what you get when you've been, when you dedicate your life uh, to a occupation or a business. I ain't, you know, I've dedicated my whole life to this. You know? And y'all are like, well, Ray, that's kind of deep. But that's the truth. That's the truth. You think I built a, a you know, a fifty thousand dollar shop up there, and, and and I'm not I'm not dedicated. You think I, you know, uh, buy buy a skid steer, uh, man lift, and all these mowers and trucks and trailers and all the equipment, and I'm not. It's not my. I'm not dedicated. This is my. This is my life, man. Uh, and I'm I, I'm I'm neck deep up in it, and I'm not going to stop. So, uh, I've dedicated my whole life to this business, and, and, and I expect to win, period. 
I, that's what I expect. So when we do good, I expect it because we we're 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 out here trying. We're out here, you know, thinking about what we're doing. We're out here, uh, you know, uh, getting everything in order, and we're making the right moves at the right times. And you know, I don't expect to come out here and fail. Kidding me? Well, that sounds cocky. Call it what you want to. It doesn't matter. I expect to win. And then when you and then we look on the back side of that, the 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 dedication and that I had that I had to, toward the business, uh, and it being my life's work, if you will, it's it, it. There ain't no plan B. This shit's gonna it's it's just gonna succeed. Guarantee it. I done got past the point where I'm on the fence about, you know, what I'm going to be doing. When y'all saw that building go up, I'm in. I'm in all the way. There ain't no plan B. And, um, and any guys that come on out here, they're going to they're gonna, they're gonna be good at this. They're going to be really good at this, whether they're working for me or if they get fired from me or work somewhere else. What they learn out here working with a guy like me, you can't pay for you can't. Well, Ray, yeah, that's kind of conceited. No, that's the truth. That's the truth. The things they can learn about life, about work, about this business, this type of business, time management, money skills, money management skills, how to how to how to run equipment, how to freaking uh, get out of the way when something dangerous coming. You know, all these little things that. Uh, Guys like me and Toby already know. There's a lot to learn out here. And and I want to share it with other people. Right? I want I want I want to. I, I you know, well you're just trying to get somebody to come to work work for you make money. Well, okay. But I mean that's they want to make money too, right? So that's what's got to happen for them to make money. I want to share the knowledge. I want I want I want somebody else to reap the benefits of what I know, and where they don't have to fall in all the freaking pitholes that I fell in. You know, uh, you know, I, I'm a business owner, and you know, but when it comes to these young men that come out here, uh, I'm almost a mentor in a way too, in in, in, a, in a lot of ways. You know. Um, I'm not gonna, but I'm not gonna, you know, let them do whatever they want to do and me not say nothing. I've had guys quit on me because they couldn't take, they couldn't take it. And then they come back the next summer because they couldn't find a job making more money where somebody really gave a damn. If I don't give a damn, then as soon as uh, I'm not going to show you the why of, of, of what we're doing. I'm not going to show you the, the who, what, when, where, and why. I'm just going to get rid of you and, and, and hire somebody else. And that's what the bigger companies do oh, for the lower level jobs. They just, they fire everybody in the winter. They hire them back in the summer. That's what they do. The lower level people ones that don't know nothing and you know they come out there in the heat they don't know nothing nobody explaining nothing to them if anything they're they're laughing at them because they don't know how to do this or that i ain't got time for all that man uh, I, I ain't trying to laugh at nobody i'm trying to damn i want them to learn and then i want them to apply what they learn to help us make more money but they got to go through some shit to, to, to do that nothing i said nothing in life worth having is easy to get you got to go through some shit got to be patient and you know it's easy for you to say right man you got all that equipment you got all that. i know but i'm nobody special unique i mean anybody could do what i do but they got to dedicate themselves and if they ain't got patience they'll have to learn it as i did but i'm glad it's friday uh, we got a light weekend. I'm not really, I, I'm not sure. I, I don't even have to work this weekend. Uh, I told the young man that he, they need some gravel over at his house. That I may take it, bring him some gravel over there over the weekend. 
But anyway, y'all, y'all know what it is. It's Sammy. I'm Friday. Deuces, y'all. Deuces.